Hey guys and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about my dating experience in Bogota, Colombia. Um, one of my favorite cities so far that I visited in, in my entire life. I first came to Bogota uh, last December. I spent two weeks there, went to Mexico for New Year's, and then I came back to Bogota that following January. And then about January, February, I was kind of there between there and Cali. Uh, first time ever in Colombia, awesome experience. But what was really intriguing was obviously the dating scene. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, for some reason, a lot of Americans go to Medellin when they go to Colombia for dating for you know what. But for an, some odd reason, not as many go to Bogota. Basically, it's gringo free. Not that many foreigners there, so I was intrigued. And women in Colombia, uh, specifically Bogota, very receptive to cold approach, uh, dating foreign men. Uh, as mentioned, there's not many foreigners there, so you already have that added uh, factor. Bogota is a really cool city. It's the capital of Colombia. If you go there, there's two good areas to stay in, Zona T and Park 93. So Zona T has a couple good shopping centers, mainly the Andino one. So it's a great place to meet girls. And then outside there, there's a lot of bars and restaurants where you can walk around, approach girls during the day, during the evening. Super receptive. receptive. Same thing in Park 93. As stated in the name, there's a big park there. A lot of businesses, a lot of restaurants are around there. So again, very good place to meet women. Girls throughout the day, super receptive. Uh, English levels are not that high, but you can use Google Translate. You can pretend that you're speaking Spanish or like me, you can speak Spanglish. Uh, they find it, <laughs> they actually, you know, they laugh. It's actually quite cool, but depending on the area or depending on the background of the girl, some do know English and even those who don't know English, if they're still into you, they'll still go out with you. Method of communication, uh, stick to WhatsApp. I uh, don't really, don't give out your IG unless it's a really good one. Stick with WhatsApp. And again, even if they don't know English or you don't know Spanish, you can use Google Translate uh, for dates. Uh, Colombia as a whole can be quite flaky. What I found what was best to do was to get them out either the next day or the next couple of days. So get the number. Uh, if you can't go for the instant date, you can exchange numbers talk a little bit back and forth and then basically ask her out what her availability is either the next day or the next couple of days in terms of locations it depends on where you stay at i would stick to uh you know scheduling something near your place but in zona t as mentioned there's a bunch of restaurants that's right by outside the mall they're all great date locations um if you're in park 93 uh as well there's a few good uh, restaurants to go out there as well. If you stay in uh, one of the nicer hotels, they actually have a rooftop bar. So basically, it just makes it easy. You can just schedule the date at the rooftop bar because a few of them are actually really nice. Obviously, it's a rooftop bar. You get a good view of the city, good music, obviously good drinks. So in terms of date spots, there's a lot in Bogota between Zona T and Park 93. But overall, I just want to emphasize, it's just a lot of fun dating Colombians. Uh, they're very feminine. They're very playful, they're very cheerful, they're very happy. Um, obviously, because you're maybe a foreigner, they're showing a little bit more excitement. But despite that, I just think the culture in Colombia as a whole, it's obviously way more social than where I'm from. And they're just, uh, they're very friendly people. I mean, obviously, you know, we all get rejected. Rejections definitely happen, but it's not like very few or like harsh blowouts. Uh, they're still kind and friendly people. So if they like you and they want to date you, it just makes the experience overall a lot better. So that's why, you know, we emphasize coming to Bogota or Cali in terms of dating if you want to date a Colombian girl uh, and skip Medellin. Um, obviously, there's a few other Colombian cities I want to visit that I heard were quite good. But so far on my list, if you were to tell me where to date Colombian woman, uh, where to have a good time to meet some really cool girls, I would say Bogota and Cali so far are my top choices. Do not do not go to Medellin. And if you want to know why, again, refer back to my last video. So, yeah, I was there for a couple months, went on a lot of dates, um, had a lot of fun. It was really cool just to experience the Colombian culture. Uh, that was 
you know, Colombia is the second South American country after Brazil that I went to. So again, everything was still kind of like new to me, kind of adapting to the environment. Uh, those two areas that I mentioned, Zona T and Park 93, pretty safe. You know, obviously always watch, make sure you know where you're at in terms of who you're acting. Be careful a little bit, but nothing bad happened. So overall, a great experience. I recommend any guy for dating in Colombia to first go to Bogota, then Cali. And then when I go to some other Colombian cities in the future, I can give you my opinion on that. Um, so guys, with that, uh, that's my experience Dating in Bogota, a lot of fun. Definitely recommend it. Definitely going to be going to back to that city for many times in the years to come. So if you have any questions, obviously, please let me know. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Obviously, again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.